and uh, unless you know the science, I'm gonna show you how to do something really, really cool. For this, you can use a, a regular nine inch balloon. I'm gonna use this clear one so you can really see what's kind of going on inside. Look. When you blow up a balloon like this, you can't really see all of the stress that's around the balloon. Certain parts of this balloon made out of latex are under more stress than others. The way to be able to see it is to try this. Put little dots on the balloon, little Sharpie dots uh, with a Sharpie pen. And so watch what happens when I blow them up. They're all about the same size right now. But when you blow it up, look at how some of the dots get huge. You can't even see them. And some stay about the same size they were from the very beginning. That just goes to show you that the greatest amount of stress of this balloon is right through the very middle. So, if you want to attack this problem, so to speak, this stressful situation with a sharp object, you never attack it from this point here. You try it from the point of least stress, that very end and that very end right there. So. We're gonna take the cooking skewer and I'm gonna add just a little drop of oil to it like this. That's gonna help. And now here comes the fun. You just have to believe you're gonna go in here like this, a nice sharp cooking skewer and <gasps> there it is. I love using the clear balloon because you can see it. You have to have an exit strategy. I think that's it right there. Watch this and <gasps> there it is, the skewer through the balloon. Now, in today's stressful times, I love this as a metaphor because you have to be able to attack every volatile situation from the point of least resistance, right? You have to find a solution. You, you, can, you can attack a pretty troubling problem, something that's under a tremendous amount of pressure if you just have a strategy and a great plan like this. Well, that's not the end because there is a cool way uh, to be able to try it using, I know, why would we do this? A uh, 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 water balloon. So here is our water balloon. How many people think this is a good idea? I think it's a great idea. Can you do it with a water balloon? That's your challenge. If you know the science of the balloon, we're right into this spot once again. Here it is, all the way to the other end right here. Like, uh oh, how about right there? And there it is, the skewer through the water balloon. The only problem with that is, well, there's a small little leak along the way. That's your Science Minute. I'm Steve Spangler.